Okay, in this last video, I want to talk about some changes that we can make to the day zero configuration of the golf routers in order to optimize both the egress routing from the point of view of the endpoints and also the ingress routing from the point of view of anything upstream, in this example, my, uh, my MPLS uh, PE router. So let's first take a look at optimizing for egress routing. So if you recall from my setup, I've got multi-pod. I've got two pods. And in pod one, I have an endpoint 192.168.1.42. And in pod number two, on the same subnet, same EPG, another endpoint at 1.22. Without the changes that we're about to make, what will happen is if 1.42 wants to go out to the WAN, he has two equal COFs pass. He can go through Gulf West or he can go through Gulf East. Now, if your pods are close together, that might not be a problem. But what I really want to do is I want to make sure that any egress traffic from pod one will always prefer to take the Gulf West path if it's available. And the same for endpoints in pod two should always prefer to take the Gulf East router. Uh, and if any one of those routers fails, then we can, of course, use the other path. But if everything is working as, uh, as designed, then we always want to make sure that we choose our local Gulf router. So if we take a look at the routing table in Gulf West, uh, we can see there's my slash 24 192.168.1.0 subnet. We can see that it has two next hops of equal cost. This is the Anycast address to the spine in pod one, and this is the Anycast address to the spine in pod two. So let's have a look at the changes that we want to make to the day zero configuration in order to make sure that any endpoints in pod one prefer Gulf West and endpoints in pod two prefer Gulf East. So if I look at the running configuration of my Gulf West router, uh, what I've done is I've created um, a, a route map that uh, right here where I basically want to uh, make certain routes um, uh, advertised from the Gulf routers uh, towards the pods, uh, uh, not necessarily be equal cost paths. So here I'm going to use an AS path prepend uh, in both Gulf West and Gulf East in order to make sure that for egress routing, we always pick our local Gulf router. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that configuration to my BGP setup. Uh, I've also done the same thing in Gulf East. I'm not gonna show it, but we can uh, be sure that it, it is in fact done. Now let's go and, and test that from the point of view of endpoints in pod one and pod two. So the device that we're looking at here is 1.42. This is the endpoint that's living in pod one and should prefer the Gulf West router. So if we do a trace route to an IP address, it's a, actually a loopback upstream in the, uh, the MPLS PE router. Uh, we wanna see which particular path it will take. It hits the bridge domain default gateway. Then it touches the BDI interface that's on the Gulf West router. And I know this is the address from the Gulf West router. We'll check that. And then finally reaching the next hop of the loopback in the MPLS PE router. In order to make sure that the device in pod two, this is endpoint 1.22, uh, is preferring the path through Gulf East, uh, we'll go ahead and do the same thing. And we can see that it hits the, the local bridge domain. It hits the BDI of the Gulf East router and then finally hits the loopback. So in terms of egress routing, we know absolutely that we've done exactly what we intended. Just to check that on the Gulf Rest router, if I do a show IP interface brief, we can see that the BDI interface that was part of the Gulf configuration uh, matches the, the, the trace route. If we do the same thing over in Gulf East, we can see that this IP address is the path that the Gulf East router uh, and the endpoint in pod two is actually passing through. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we want to now uh, influence how ingress routing happens. So if you imagine anything upstream, uh, such as a loopback in the MPLS PE router, we want to make sure that it always takes the optimal path back towards the pods. So if traffic, uh, let's say if I ping from 1.42, I want the return traffic to actually come back uh, through the same path uh, of egress as well. And this is especially important if you have something like a stateful firewall, which is going to expect that the path is in and out uh, across the same side. Uh, and so the way we do that is with an optional config in Gulf that gives us the ability to advertise more than just the slash 24 of the bridge domain, but allows us to advertise type two host routes, so slash 32 host routes uh, through these Gulf routers and up into the WAN. So now that we have a longer prefix match, we can always make sure that the ingress traffic uh, follows the proper path 
while still accounting for redundancy because we'll still see the slash 24 in the route table. So if Golf West should go down, we could then find a path through Golf East. Suboptimal, but during uh, failure, that could still be an acceptable uh, situation. Okay, if we take a look at the route table of the MPLS PE router that's northbound or upstream of the two golf routers, we can actually see uh, our slash 24 uh, route being advertised with equal cost uh, pass to uh, Golf West uh, and Golf East. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to make some changes to the ACI configuration and the golf router configuration in order to receive slash 32 type 2 host routes. So let's go ahead and do that in ACI first. Okay, so back in my golf tenant, if you remember, we created a VRF called main VRF, uh, and we uh, set up some configuration here. There is an optional configuration to send type 2 host routes, and that's in the box called BGP context per address family. So this is quite simple. So all we have to do is create a policy, in this case IPv4. I don't have a policy. Actually, I have some policies here, but I'll create a new one just to show you how easy it is. Uh, I'll call this host routes 3. Uh, leave all of this as default and all you have to do is tick the box and submit here, update, uh, and it's that easy. So now if we go check uh, the golf routers and the MPLS PE router, we should start seeing the slash 32 host routes. So back in the MPLS uh, PE router, we can actually see uh, our original slash 24s there, but now we're actually receiving a host route here. So 1.22 lives in pod number two, uh, and 1.42 lives in pod number one. You can still see here uh, that we have equal cost paths, so we haven't quite completed the ingress optimization. So there's a couple of minor changes that we have to make on the golf routers in order to make sure that the MPLS PE router will always prefer uh, the proper golf router closest to the endpoint. So taking a look at the Gulf West router, what I've done here is I've added some configuration uh, in the form of a prefix list um, and uh, a route map that is going to allow me to deny uh, host routes. In this particular case, it's going to say, don't receive host routes in Gulf West from the spine in pod two. We'll do the exact inverse uh, in, in, uh, in Gulf East saying, do not receive host routes uh, being advertised from the spine in pod one. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that configuration uh, to my BGP setup. I've done the same thing in Gulf East, so they're both uh, set up accordingly. Now let's go back and take a look at the uh, MPLS PE router and see what's changed. Okay, issuing the same command here, we can now see the route table. We have our slash 24, uh, but more specifically, we have uh, a slash 32 for the endpoint in pod two pointing to the spine in pod two. And we have the slash 32 for the endpoint in pod one pointing uh, to the next hop of the spine in pod one. So that's exactly what we wanted to see. If there is a failure of any of the golf routers, as you can see, the slash 32 uh, route uh, might drop out, but we still have the slash 24 that we can use uh, to work around the failure. So at this point, we've been able to optimize the egress path by using a route map and the AS prepend feature to make sure that endpoints in a given pod always prefer their local golf router. Then we went on to advertise type 2 host routes, so slash 32s to the golf routers. Uh, by using another route map, uh, we've been able to give the BGP uh, MPLS PE router enough intelligence to make ingress optimized choices to always go to the best path to any given endpoint, whether it lives in pod one or pod two. So that concludes this video series. I hope you find it useful in your own lab and testing configurations. I will end with this disclaimer that I haven't shown you every possible detail uh, regarding golf, but I feel I've given you enough to get started in setting up the, the things that you need to do to test. Please do consult the uh, official configuration guides from Cisco uh, to get the, uh, the, the result that you want in the end. Thank you very much.